Okay, we're in a high probability long reversal zone on the five minute time frame here on crude oil. So let's confirm that on the one minute. Analysis boundary has been confirmed with very low volumes to the lower mark grounds. So we're going to go for either a no touch or a touch trade. The higher probabilities of a no touch trade uh, on crude oil because we're in the reversal zone on the five minute time frame and the analysis boundary on the one minute time frame has just been confirmed. The likelihood of price retracing lower than this is much um, lower than price immediately shooting off back to the higher target of 665 if we were to engage in a touch trade. So we'll go for the higher probability outcome, which according to Genesis Elite is taking a no touch with a target of 101.487, meaning price will not go towards 48 because it's just too low for price to go to given that it's in a long reversal zone. So we're going to pause now and come back to you a few minutes before the end outcome. Okay, we're back here on crude oil. Look at that move. Brilliant bounce right off of the five minute high probability long reversal zone. We initially confirmed it off of the one minute as well where the analysis boundary had come to an end. So we really took an extremely well timed trade here, which now has one minute and something seconds remaining and price has just bounced off of it really, really well. We went for the no touch because it was a higher probability outcome than the touch trade. With the touch trade, there was still the uncertainty of price possibly uh, going sideways inside the reversal zone for a little bit, as opposed to the no touch trade, which had a much higher probability since we were essentially being told by Team Genesis Elite that there is very low likelihood almost negligible of price going down to 4.8, which is so far outside the analysis boundary at the time that there was absolutely no likelihood of that move um, transpiring. So we took it. It was higher probability. In hindsight, we could have taken the touch trade, but hindsight's always a lot easier than predicting the move forward. So when we were predicting the move forward, we went for the higher likely, higher probability outcome, which was do not take a touch trade, take a no touch trade, because the probability of price going down to this level is way higher, is way lower than probability of uh, price going up to your touch level of 6.6, which it did go up to, but in hindsight, that's very easy to look at. When you're predicting future movements, you always look at the higher probability prediction, which in our case was a no touch. And as you can see, that expired very nicely in our favor, netting us uh, $1,800 on this trade. I'm just going to wait for it to expire here. We have a gross return of 4300 on an investment of 2500 on this crude oil no touch trade using ITM Genesis Elite's analysis boundaries and reversal zones. We initially took the reversal zone from the five minute time frame, which is obviously a higher probability time frame than the one minute. We then switched the chart over to the one minute time frame and uh, confirmed that our analysis boundary on the one minute was complete as well. Took volumes into consideration at that level as well. And here we are with a very, very nicely timed trade that we took right at the bottom. Um, timing is everything, as you know, in binary options. And this result in a supreme trade here for $4,300 gross return on an investment of 2500 for a net return of 1800 Thank you.